Baby boomers build an online business? Are you kidding me? Heck yes. Man, if you're a baby boomer or getting close, I want to talk to you about how you can build an online business and how you can build a successful online business. Hey, Mark Nelson here. Hang on to the very end because I have a great, great freebie to you, but I actually got five, <laughs> 10 tips on how you can become successful in an online business. If you are a baby boomer or getting close, and shoot, this is really for anybody, but how a baby boomer, baby boomers build online business. Pretty easy. Anyway, so let's go down here. The 10 tips. And before I get there, you know why I'm talking to you about this is that, oh man, we gray hairs, right? Gray hairs. We have a ton of knowledge. And I, want, I just want to talk about how, uh, if you remember this, you know, the 60s and the 70s, and I do remember this because I remember when one of my dad's best friends um, turned 65, he retired, and I bet three months after he retired, he died of a heart attack. And that was standard at that time. I mean, sad to say, but it was always stuck in my mind because, I mean, man, he worked for retirement all his life. And he got there. But now th time, things have changed. Back in the 60s, late 60s and 70s, the life expectancy of a male was 69 years old. Four years after retirement age. A female was about two years longer, 71 or 72. Times have changed. Now, when people hit 65, they have 19 males of 19 or 20 more years. And females have about two or three more beyond that. They much live a much easier life. <laughs> My wife's gonna live till she was 100, I, I tell you. I am too, because we've told each other that we're gonna be there to 100 and healthy and going strong. But let's say you retire. I, you know, the, the, you have more to give in this world than to just sit and smoking bonbons eating bonbons, and sitting at a campfire. And to tell you the truth, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to retire and do nothing. But I soon found out that I had a passion for doing more. See, I'm a teacher. I teach in the educational system. I'm a math teacher, and I help. I teach anywhere from 80 to 120 kids a year. So I reach and touch them. So in 30 years, that's a lot of kids. But holy cow. What I found is I could reach way more people, way more people, and so could you. We have a wealth of knowledge we, as a baby boomer, can get out to the market. So, I wanna give you 10 tips. One is you need to find something to do, and I have an excellent resource at the end to help you out with that. I really do, but you have to find something you can do and then you can market. See, I teach people how to make money online. You could teach somebody how to swing a golf club. You could teach somebody how to croquet. There's markets all over the place. But what are your goals? Who are you gonna help? What is your vision? Now, when you talk about that, when your goals, when you start an online business, you, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna stay at home? Do you wanna travel? Do you wanna help so many people? Do you want to it's just so many things you can touch to. Where is your vision? If you're 65, where do you want to be in 10 years? What do you want to be doing? In your business, who is your target market? Who are you going to be talking to? See, because I'm a teacher, I talk to teachers and baby boomers. That's it. Now, most businesses, when they get started, most businesses center around helping people, solving problems. You could teach people how to cook. You could teach people how to do uh, gluten-free recipes. I don't know what it is. What are you good at? You can build a business around that. Now, how are you gonna do things on social media? You've gotta develop a strategy for social media. And social media could be LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube videos. Ooh. I suggest you do videos. Um, and it's a challenge at first. People always said they're afraid of the camera. You're not afraid of the camera. You're afraid of what people will say to you. Think about it. 
right? That's what you're afraid of. I was nervous about what people were going to think about me being on camera. Now I'm not. I'm kind of goofy. The biggest thing is a profit strategy. Let's say you do a business and I got you covered on this. I got a great resource at the end. So stay till the very end. You have to have a profit strategy. How are you going to make money? And then you have to be consistent. Meaning you have to put out content, not once every two weeks, but you have to do something every week, maybe twice a week, maybe every day. You have to be consistent. Then the biggest one, see, social media is a funny business. Anything you put on Facebook, it's theirs. It goes away. Anything you put on Instagram, it's theirs. It can go away. YouTube, it's their forever. So that's why I do videos. It's like an evergreen uh, lead source for me. But you want to build your list because when people get on your email list, and I'm going to show you how to do that, I have a freebie down below, down below, right, that you can click on a link, how to grow an online business without leaving your home, cold calling, right, getting on that phone and going, hey, I'm Mark Nelson right or making any sales it's really easy so click on that link again it's how to make an online business how to build an online business without leaving your home cold calling or making sales is a great resource and then hit that subscribe button and then that little bell pops up hit that bell it goes ding because i put out great videos and i can help you build your business hey you all take care again mark nelson grab that link Hit subscribe and that little bell. We will talk again soon. Bye.